in this series of video we discuss the accounts payable accounting in sage 50 so in the first step what we need to do we need to set up some default information for our payable accounting for our vendors so let's see how we enter this vendor default information in sage 50 you need to click on this option and in this option we have this default information in default information we have this vendors so here we have the default payment terms and condition the standard terms are that COD cash on delivery if it is then you can check this option then we have prepaid then you can select this option this is what due in number of days due on day of next month and the last one is due at end of the month so we have some scenarios here we're gonna follow those scenarios so we're gonna select the following default information due in numbers of days net days are 30 and discount in 10 days if the if you pay within 10 days the vendor they are giving us 2% discount and we have a credit limit of 50,000 so these are the default information which we want to set up uh, to create our vendors so we are doing this due in number of days so check this option net days we have 30 and if you pay within 10 days discount in 10 days that is 2% and credit limit we have let's suppose that is 50,000 and here you need to set up the default expense and if there's a uh, discount is there you can select that uh, that discount GL account so here you need to enter the expense account that is 501 purchases and a discount a GL account that is a purchase discount let's see if we created that purchase account here okay so we don't have the uh, that purchase discount account so click this option to create a new item in the chart of account and I'm gonna create uh, 914 and that is purchase discount purchase discount and that is under expenses and then save so that is 914 so that is our default payment terms and conditions then we have account aging that you want to age that the report that invoice is by invoices date or with the due date so uh, we want to do it with the due date and that aging category is that within 30 days 60 days or 19 days and that is over 90 days so we're going to use the default information then we have this custom fields that if you want to enter some uh, the feed labels while you are creating the vendor master record when you are creating the vendor master so these additional fields this can be uh, enter in the master record and if you want to enable if you want to enter something new by yourself you can check this option and here you can write that additional field status then we have payment method that the first payment method that is check uh, the cash then we have check right so we have like different payment methods here so you can choose it and uh, you can change that uh, the number also that I want check first so you can write here the check and uh, cash on the second so you can change the, uh, the payment methods also and this 1099 setting that is related with that taxation so right or not applicable and save it so 
what we did we just enter the default information in sage 50 so what are the effect of this default information that whenever you are creating vendor master record or whenever you are creating any invoices so that these default informations will come automatically